Okay, so I took, I cut a rough piece, I cut a square piece basically, this to that, a square piece. I rolled it in here, kind of rolled up, started cutting the edges, that one I screwed up on a little bit. I always give, I always make a little extra so that we can kind of like fit it in and fold it back and cut it down. Here's the way I cut these stacking down, tucked in. She's at my slide along. Okay, we got some little ripples here. I'm gonna actually let it set. I'm gonna let it set overnight before I glue it because we got some ripples. Hopefully these ripples will settle down. Um, I'm gonna have to seam an edge back there. Uh, uh, yeah, these uh, these curved blades are good for cutting seams, and uh, so I'm gonna be moving on to this and this bathroom here. Uh, so uh, probably use a little drywall putty here. But, uh, I'm not going to make too many request commands. This would definitely need to be, should be filled in. Those big gaps back there. But I'm just going to lay the, lay the flooring and leave it at that. Okay, here's where I have to think about this. These are pretty bad. They're not very smooth at all. This edge here. So, since I'm here, I'm from out of town, and they need this done. They weren't too concerned about it. She says she doesn't mind about ripples. The bedroom turned out fairly decent. Uh, that. So basically, yeah, it's kind of, I'm going to lay it down, but I'm not going to like it because there's going to be ripples around here. She told me she sanded this, but it still looks pretty pretty rough here all this stuff is going to show um it's all going to show so i might try and try and sand it down a little just a little bit more okay so rather than take my knife and dig in and throw my knife i lift this edge up and cut it by hand basically it saves the blade you don't have to dig in and you're digging in on that cement it cuts the blade Okay, so I just cut it, and then roll it, when I get it into place, then I measure it, and I measure on the back of this, cut it, that seems to be, uh, theoretically you could make a cardboard stencil and then put it on the back of this, but uh, we don't have any cardboard here, so I'm just going to do it this way, cut the uh, main slice out, and then have it rolled, and then Cut it. I'm gonna cut this edge here. I always leave a little bit more on the edges, just in case uh, I need to make up for gaps. these seams with some trim and seam and there it is ok 
Okay, there's that. Just cut the edges. Cut the edges, double overlap it.